All right, so we're going to talk about sectional views today. Um, we're getting started on that. And so here's where we are in Blackboard sectionals. It would be a really good idea if you went through and at least um, checked uh, what was going on in this. I'm going to double check and see that pulls it up. So there's a sectional view part in uh, the textbook. And if you just kind of go through, skim some things, I'm not asking you to read it word for word, but you get an idea of these highlighted words, uh, things that are in there, things that you can see in here, what the way different kinds of uh, hatchings are. Uh, as you go through it, you learn how to do it and what, what's going on. It's basically so you can see the inside of a part, um, but that's really uh, what's going on there. Um, so then there's also this thing here, this video. Um, that if you click on this and it's uh, section views, it, literally the title of it is section views, what are they and how to create them. And if you search that on YouTube, this other guy made it. It's a really good video uh, just kind of covering the whole thing. Um, after you get that, you'll go inside here and this is where we're going to start. We're going to start with this and I'm going to make that part right now. Um, I have it here so it's, it's pulled up here so it's a little bit bigger um, so you can see it easily as we go but what I'm gonna try to do is this is the details that I want to show off um, I'm not gonna worry so much about this slope today because this isn't gonna work out so I'm just gonna make it quickly if you took the engineering class we'll cover that deeper and we'll cover the key seat a little deeper too but I'm just gonna kinda give you the the uh, kind of a just something that we can make it work um, today alright <clears throat> so anyway um, we're going to start by clicking Inventor. You open up Inventor and we're going to click New and it's a standard English part there. So we'll standard inch IPT. The um, first thing you need to do, I'll figure that out later. The first thing you need to do is um, start a sketch. And I'm going to click this. All right, Because I know that I want to take th this part right here, I want to revolve it around the, around the center point that runs through here. Right, I want to revolve this, this shape. I want that shape that looks kind of like an eye. Uh, to be in there. So um, to do that you need to have a center line because anything that revolves has to go around. It's going to be circular in shape so I have to have a center line so I'm going to click this button right here. That's a center line. I'm going to draw a line and I'm just going to make a line right about here like that and I'm going to constrain the midpoint of it to the origin point. Now it's fully constrained. Um, it doesn't have a dimension on it but I don't need a dimension at this point. Um, then I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to sketch that shape that kind of looks like an eye. Um, and I'm, oops, I did the same mistake a minute ago. Um, delete that. I'm going to turn that off. And then I'll go in here and make this shape like this. Then uh, I know I'm overdoing it a little bit. But uh, all right. So I have a couple mistakes. I'm going to constrain this first. Um, I'm not even sure they're mistakes, but I'm going to constrain those two so they touch one another. I'm going to constrain this uh, vertically. So this, this right here is always over the origin point. I want to constrain the midpoint so it's always over the origin point. I want to say that these two things here, this one and this one, are equal. That and that are equal. I want to say that this one and this one are equal. So I get the shapes that say that this one and this one are equal. And that should mean that this one and this one are equal also. So that one's already done. Okay, so now I've got the shape, the basic shape. It's not perfect, but that's what dimensions are going to be for. So we'll look back out here, and I'm going to start with the width. So I'm going to start with this one's a 180. This one's a 50. This one is a 150. And then uh, that's all I think I need for now. So let's start there. So we'll go from here to here is 180, 1.8. All right, this one was a 0 .75, 0 .75, and this one was a 150, 1.5. All right, so now I can start putting uh, worry about dimensioning things. So I'll worry about, I mean, yeah, dimensioning diameters. So now this one's six all the way out to here. Um, let's just do that one first to see what happens. Um, so I'll do a dimension from here to here. This is what happens when you do this. Notice that I'm going to put six in six in there so it does a dimension as if this were an entire diameter because it's assuming we're going to rotate around this center point here so it's saying alright that diameter is going to be this alright this next one to right in here what was that one that one has a diameter somewhere out oh right here this goes across there that's one or uh, five point four so we'll do this and put a dimension on from right here to right here and that's five point four 
All right. So you see how the little mistakes things happen like that. Things don't you catch catch off guard. So I'm gonna just move that up before I get into any other trouble. Um, I'm gonna deal with this right now while I'm here. So this this is a slope, right? So that's for what goes up and across. So it's gonna the rise and run. So the rise is 0 0.01. The distance over is 0 0.1. So that's just what the 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 um, ratio is. This dimension itself isn't one inch long. It's only going to be like 0.9. Um, so uh, I can't really put that on there because these two things dictate that. But I can put this one on. And for, for right now, we're just going to say that this is 0.01. All right. So that's really what it does. So that's the 0.01. It gives it a, a, a peak on it. If you're wondering what that is, is when you have a pulley or, you know, uh, the belt is on this on this pulley. Um, if a belt's pulling down evenly on it right here, it pulls down evenly on this edge and evenly on that edge, so it peaks here in the middle, should keep the, the belt on the pulley. All right, um, so anyway, let's go back, let's worry about these two lines right here, because we want to get them fully constrained also. And so we're going to talk about this one out here is a 240. So we'll do a diameter from here to here. That one's 240, 2.4. And then this inside one from here to here, that one was not 1.06. That one is right here, 1.25. Let's just do 1.25 for right for right here. So 1.25. All right. So now um, it's all blue. I'm not sure what this one is. What that still needs? Oh, it still needs to be that 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 number right there. It tells us how long that is. If you're not concerned with it you don't have to worry about it if you want to be make it so it says fully constrained we can go in here and just say that this is like 2.25 and everybody's happy because now it's fully constrained all right so I'll finish this sketch right and the next thing it's going to do notice all those dimensions are there telling us it's going to be a radius and as soon as you click revolve it assumes you want to make revolve that around that center point right there and then go from there now if that if you're adding things to it later on that won't happen okay click OK and we'll go onto this face right here and right click on it and click new sketch so this pops up and we're just going to put a quick little key seat in here so basically what's going to happen is the key is going to go through the whole thing um, we might just make ours uh, 0.25 um, we'll just make it a quarter inch uh, key seat there and um, we'll say that the sides are all equal with one another and uh, we'll do a vertical constraint between the midpoint and the origin point so that centers that and we can say that we want this to be coincident with that so now we're fully constrained on that so the midpoint's right on there so the midpoint would be halfway through both of them that's not the conventional way to do it but for our purpose it's fine all right so then let's click um finish uh the sketch we're just making the part that goes through here um and we'll sketch that and we want it to cut through all so it cuts through the whole thing. So now our model's done. So we're going to go ahead and click Save. Save this where we want it to be. So that was, um, what was that part number? That was 284, oops, 284843, 284-4-83, um, and it was a flat belt pulley. So uh, flat belt pulley. All right. So click save. So now we've saved that. We'll go on to make it in the drawing. So I click the new here. Uh, I'm going to go there and we're going to insert this uh, into a new drawing. Now it takes a second for uh, the first time you do anything. It's the first time I've done anything today. So it's going to take a minute to think and give me that page. I'm going to change the page. I'm going to change it actually down to a C size sheet because um, that's the D size is just way too big. C, C size is big enough there to fit, so let's kind of go um, with that. And then we're going to put a, this in like that. So I'm going to go ahead and change this so it turns sideways there like that. All right. So that's what we want to look at like this. Uh, and, um, ooh, I messed up up there. So I think I just clicked a button wrong. And uh, I'll put that in there. That's fine. So that's what I want to make my front view. Um, and I'll do another. I'm, not, I'm just going to go with that right there. Just right click and leave this view. Because what we're going to do is click section. And I'm going to click a section. And I'm right here it's asking down here select a view. So I'm going to select this view. And then I'm going to click a point somewhere straight up above that. So I'm going to click a point right about here. And come straight down through the middle of it. 
and put one right about there and then let's see what's it say down here no additional points so I'll right click and continue now it's going to try to create this view now notice it already looks like it cut it right through cut right through it see the direction of these arrow that arrow right there I can't to click on it because it goes the opposite way but that little arrow right there that's as if you're looking into this part. If I cut this part from the right, cut right through the middle and looked at it from the right side, this right here is the view I would see. All right, so I'm going to put that right there. All right, so now we've got this going on. Now, you should never dimension hidden lines, so this helps us. Um, I'm going to go to annotate. And I'm going to start with some of the things that were easy to do, and I'm going to start with the outside diameter here. The outside diameter was 6. The inside diameter here was 5.4 this diameter right here we know was 2.4 um, this one was notice it's a radius of 6.3 um, I'm gonna go ahead and hide that dimension because I'm gonna change it to the one we had right here and say that it's 1.52 over uh, 1.250 um, 1.252 over 1.250 so um, I'll do that I'll put in diameter symbol 1.252 over um, for right now diameter 1.250 um, this isn't the right way to do it when you're tolerancing but this is our first year uh, of doing this first attempt at doing something like this so that's what we're gonna put put in there like that um, that's not even right so um, we could do this and do um, three decimal places um, so we'll change that to three decimal places. It's not a reference. It's not symmetric. It's not deviation. Uh, I'm doing stacked. The upper, lower, in here. I'm trying to figure out if we got this right. Limits. Hmm. All right, so let's see what happens if we try this. Uh, go this way. We're going to go up 0 0.02 and go down 0, 0, 0, 0 0.02. Oh, you, you caught me thinking. Let's go back here. Hmm, you caught me thinking, so that's interesting. You know what, I'm spending way too much time on this right now. For what we're trying to do, it's the section view, it's not about the, this. So this is what we're going to do. This is about section views, not about tolerancing. We'll do tolerancing another day. Um, so we're just going to make this diameter the 1.25, because that's what we drew it at. All right, that's good, and we'll change this to through. Okay, all right, well, that was kind of a bit of a little mistake there, but we'll go from there. All right. We'll put dimensions on. We got to know the widths of stuff, so we're going to put this one on here. Uh, 1.5 is this one, so we know what that width is. This one is 1 or 0.75, and this one from outside here to outside there is 1.8. So I feel bad about messing that other thing up um, because. Uh, that was all we really needed to do right there was that so this is all the dimensions we needed to make that part um, there's the only thing missing was would be this right here uh, and we can figure that out right here I can just go ahead and do this I'll I'll put on click that and go this way and um, we can say that and that's fine so now we know that there's a slope on there all right so that's the end of it um, we would now go in here and if you wanted to you could place a view and project uh, one up here like this and it's isometric view and we can create that double click on it um, change the scale down to half scale and then go to eye properties do all the changes there we're going to change this to um, our company name which is the title of the part was flat belt flat belt Go over to the project here. Part number 284 6 483. 
Page 3 in the description is flat belt pulley.